Hello internet, it is almost Halloween, and I am the non-binary teenager. So, this is a surprise video today, since Halloween, favorite holiday. I've got my decorations, I'm feeling very spooky with my shirt, and to go with that, I'm going to be telling you guys a scary story. So last summer, I took a trip to Ottawa, and there I went to the Ottawa Jail. This is one of the most haunted places in Canada, one of the most haunted places in the world even. See. This place was very scary. I mean, it was running in the 1800s, of course it was. But they had jail cells that were tiny. I'll show you a picture right there. And it could fit about five to seven people. They would put five to seven people in that for the night. Because that was used as more as a holding cell and a jail cell. They replaced seven-year-olds who took candy, who, who stole candy from a store, to 30-year-olds who were being convicted of murder. Now, it's already haunted, but this next thing that I'm about to tell you makes it so much worse. So, there is a man that goes by the name of Thomas McGee, and he was very important in Canadian history. He was coming home from a debate way past midnight, and he was walking to his boarding house where he was staying. He opened the door, and suddenly he was shot dead. People came running, but... Whoever assassinated Thomas McGee was long gone. The government did not want this to just go by, considering that Thomas McGee was such an incredible person. They had to find someone and convict them guilty. So they went with the obvious. They convicted Patrick Wellen. Patrick was a man who who had supported the Fernies, who had supported bad things. He was the perfect person to target. The trial lasted so long that on September 15, Patrick was found guilty and sentenced to a hanging. On February 11, 1869, Patrick was publicly hanged in front of 5,000 onlookers. He had told the crowd that he was innocent and he did not kill McGee until the second he died. And his last and final words before the hanging were, God save Ireland and God save my soul. His jail cell is where he was kept the night before is one of the most haunted places in all of Canada. Nobody has ever managed to stay the night there. So everyone who has attempted has screamed and ran out in terror. I, I had walked past it. I thought the tour was gonna be so much fun and I wasn't really one to believe in, I, see, I do believe in spirits, but I wasn't really one to believe in this one, until I walked past it. There's a room here, and a room here, and the jail cell is in between, with two doors. As I walked past in between the rooms, I was staring right at the jail cell. Before, I was fine. But my heart started racing. Everything just stopped. I was petrified. 
it was such an uneasy feeling. I got goosebumps. I'll never forget that for the rest of my life. There was something there. Personally, I think Patrick... Wait, was that his name? Fuck. <laughs> I think Patrick was innocent. And the government just simply needed someone to blame. To this day, I think he's innocent. Patrick, however, was buried at the jailhouse. <sighs> Patrick's soul is now unwilling to rest until he is brought home. Nobody really knows where he's buried. We just know that he's buried there. So if you ever go there and you ask, if you, so if you ever go there and you try to find his grave and you say that he didn't murder, he will get really pissed off. You will get, you will feel really uneasy and you might get a nosebleed and you might just get a nosebleed and blood might trickle down your face and then he will get you Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that spooky delicious video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you later. <sighs> Better beware. Watch out for watch out for the ghost.